know that competitive facial hair growing is an actual sport? With a devoted fan base, groupies, and superstar athletes galore? Not ringing a bell? Well, you really don't know anything, do you? Luckily, the independent film channel does, and last Friday premiered its pack of hairy patriots as they journey from the national championship in Oregon on into Norway's international competition. Behold the bearded beauty that is Whisker Wars. Red Eye went to the reality show's premiere party to learn more and shave less. Thanks, Greg. At the Whisker Wars premiere over at the Blind Barber, and in the spirit of the event, I myself have not shaved in over two weeks. Not too shabby. Hey, Tom O'Connor, our producer, what are you doing here? Thanks, Bill. Well, actually, Greg said that your approach, like your beard, is horse <laughs> So he sent me along to make sure we didn't get laughed out of the joint. As a matter of fact, I tracked our progress over the last two weeks just so to show everyone how much I beat you. So we just got raided by the judges. Bill, I, I don't know if we did so well. They asked me if I had mange. I'm 35 years old, and at least five of those years I had already gone through puberty. What's my issue? You and me have the similar problem. We can't grow facial hair yes. on our cheeks. You and me? Full sweet ass kicker. I don't think ass kicker and this guy have ever been named in the same sentence. Are you sure? Look at that curly hair. Tell me about the freestyle category. Freestyle category is, uh, has a lot to do with like hairspray and spending time and practicing. I use beer cans as rollers. Big Red, where did that nickname come from? I, I don't know. I mean, people just call me, uh, you know, they've just called my beard Big Red. Oh, I didn't even notice. The workout regimen uh, interests me because now what do you do? Do you do beard push-ups? You got to do a lot of cardio. You know, I mean, you're trying to like, just like you would um, take care of soil and, and you're farming. This is two weeks. What do we think? We know what you've got. You're not going to grow big sideburns and that's totally fine. Now, I can't you know? grow sideburns, period. That's okay. You got to pick what style's right for you and rock that. Beard groupies or broopies as I like to call them. Are they plentiful and what kind of girls are they like? We're here with Mike O'Connor, no relation to myself, despite the resemblance. Uh, Mike, how do you think Bill and I did in the beer competition? I think you guys did great. I mean, you had a, you know, a lot of stiff competition, my fiance uh, and my boss. Your fiance is also your beard coach. So now if I were to get a beard coach, could I also have sex with her? She started out as just kind of like grooming me only. And then all of a sudden we show up to the nationals and she's like grooming everybody. And Let's I'm be honest, Mike. It was a beard coach with benefits. Absolutely. A beard coach with benefits. How do I get one of those? Uh, you have to have the genes of a Norse god, first of all. Done. And, uh, and then you just got to look good. I think we got, I mean. So, one, for, one out of two? That's locked yeah. up. It's going to be the best Christmas card ever. It's the best Christmas ever. Harry Christmas! <laughs> so, Tom, it's over. What have we learned? Bill, I think we learned a very, very valuable lesson. And that's that beards bring everyone together. Clearly. Aww, something tells me something happened after that, Bill, that we didn't know about. <laughs> um, are you going to shave now? I don't know. I kind of like where I'm going with this. Uh, it's not perfect. It's a bit see-through. Mm -hmm. But this is starting to happen right here. And there's sort of a reverse Hitler going on right yeah. here. Do you notice that? Yeah. There's like this weird bald patch that I'm not happy about. I still say you look like the son of the Native American and King of the Hill. <laughs> Wait, was that an Asian guy or a Native American guy? I thought it was, a, it was the son of, what was his, Big John? What's his name? We veer off. Any beard growing tips? Did they give you any tips? One guy said that, uh, at the risk of being too crass, that uh, he would not self pleasure himself for weeks on end because he believed that holding on to the testosterone rather than wasting it helped him get a bigger, fuller beard. Yeah. So that's a tip for all of you people out there that aren't getting any Wait, action. No, also Start growing the beard. Also, might explain why yours is coming in so badly. Uh, I felt like that was going to happen. Um, no, I don't agree with this theory. All right. All right. Is it, is it a crime to shave somebody's beard against their will? I don't no, and that. I think we should do it in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That does it for today's adventure. If you're new here, please subscribe.
take it one step further and ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big old like and a thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. Right on.